I'll let you in on my goal. I plan to celebrate my third year as an employee by submitting an application for promotion. To make my application more attractive, I will do a series of work from home challenges for the next four weeks. This is to establish habits that would be critical in taking a bigger responsibility. This week will be an efficiency challenge and here are the rules. First, I have to clock in five minutes before my shift. This is a precautionary measure against system issues and also to make sure that my station is ready for the day. Second is to strictly follow break and lunch times. I have these in my alarm so as long as I follow them, there should be no problem. Third is to stay on top of deadlines. I have to make sure that each deliverable is completed on or before its due date and time. And fourth, no overtime. I have to finish all my tasks within my shift. Oh, and I almost forgot. The easiest way to define efficiency is working smart, meaning you get the maximum results with minimum effort. I can't film while I'm working, so instead, I'll be sharing my biggest challenge for the day and how I overcame it. This week includes a holiday, so I'll be taking the challenge on for four work days. Today's perfect for starting this challenge because I have a lot of projects lined up. And my biggest takeaway is to have a priority and have a way of scheduling things which are urgent and important. I personally use the quadrant of priorities as a guide. It's simple, self-explanatory, and makes a lot of sense. The tricky part is making a distinction between urgent and important tasks. This gets easier with practice, but if you're just starting out, here are some things to remember. Urgent tasks like deadlines and emergencies would require immediate attention. On the other hand, important tasks like skills development and relationship building have great significance or value. My job requires me to work with multiple stakeholders at a time, and I find that incorporating your communication channels into your routine would make a lot of difference in terms of efficiency. What I did is set up recurring calendar invites that would allow me and my main stakeholder to engage for at least 30 minutes within the first few hours of our shift. This way, I'll be confident that I have the most updated information before doing any actual work, and I'll have the rest of my shift to complete them. Today's a very busy day. I've had to jump from one meeting to another, and my biggest challenge was my stakeholders not being able to come to the meeting that we have scheduled even though the time was given by them. So I learned the hard way that it pays to have a contingency plan. In the context of meetings, this simply means sending a chat or an email to your stakeholders asking like, hey, are you still good for that time? If not, when is your soonest convenience? So on and so forth. My biggest challenge for today is uncertainty, the unknown. And I discovered that a good way to deal with this is by being decisive. We could only plan so much. When working with time-sensitive projects, you'll be confronted with situations that require you to make a very important decision on the spot. Now you ask, how do I decide on something I know nothing about? Well, you look for information, of course. It really pays to be comfortable in finding the answers ourselves, because in my case, I often stumble upon other important pieces of information that I never knew I needed while finding the main answer. The easiest and fastest way is to ask someone who knows about the topic, but if that is not available for some reason, say everyone is busy, then emails are a good place to start. In the absence of emails, it's best practice to use credible written materials as a reference. Let's review. The things I've learned from my work from home efficiency challenge are prioritize, communicate early and regularly, have a contingency plan, and be decisive. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Also, if you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.